again, and this is part two of your instructions with using celery to learn about how water is spread to the stem. This is my puppy, Appa, looking in the background. Um, I just wanted to uh, warn you guys, so when I did the last experiment, I did get some dye on my hands. It took about like a day to get out, but it does come out. Don't worry. So, But make sure that you still wear your gloves really highly recommend um, putting like a paper towel down like I have here or a plastic bag or something to prevent anything from like getting stained. For this instructions, we're gonna need some different materials. This time you can use some celery that I got here or if you really want to, you can find white flowers that also does the trick. I found that with this, highly, highly recommend making sure that it has some sort of leaves coming out so you can actually see the coloration. It will still work, but you just won't see the colors changing as much for um, the leaves because there's no leaves. So basically what we do here, I already got my water filled up to the second line right here and then I already added some food dye. Um, so I already added some, so I'll just like show you if you just open it, pour in a few drops. All right, see I already got it on my fingers. And then we take this. I already cut it, but if you guys need to cut it, I would recommend cutting it at the bottom um, so we can get as much water to go in as possible. If you need help, don't forget to ask an adult. So cut the bottom off and then carefully place the bottom part in here, like so, right? It'll take about an hour to start seeing any difference, but what I did for my first experiment to show you guys, I did it overnight. So overnight, this was the bottom, that part that was put in overnight. And then you can see right here that there's some blue that's actually sticking out. Why does that happen? Let's see. I'm going to cut it open or you can break it apart with your hands, whatever works for you. I'm going to use a knife. All right. And you can also see it in the middle, which is really cool. And you can even pull it apart. And you can see the blue in the celery. All right, so let me ask, why does this happen? What are stems responsible for, okay? So basically, stems are responsible for fluid transport in plants. They contain vessels that move water from roots and leaves and carry nutrients, sugars, carbohydrates throughout the plant and even against the pull of gravity. Stems support the plant and hold leaves, flowers, fruits above ground. Uh, stems keep the leaves in light to enable flowers and fruits to grow. And then uh, the transport of fluids b between the roots and leaves in the xylem and the phloem. So you can see here is basically a demonstration of that happening, which is really cool. I feel like it's really cool. Um, I think if you guys can find flowers, like white little flowers, um, and stick them in the water, let it either soak for an hour or two or overnight, you'll really see a difference and you'll see the white flowers starting to change. You could use whatever food dye you have at home. Um, that would work as well. And I hope you have fun. Bye.